going to start the sentence as well. But well, as you can see, it's raining, and as you can see, we're flooding, and as you can see, Killing Council are blocking the drains because that's who they are. Anyway, Merry Christmas because today is the 1st of December 2018, 0640 hours, Greenwich Mean Time, rather soggy. The Ockley yesterday, rather good. Nice food, nice cheese, nice soup. And nice, I've got to be honest, they tend to be better with their keg than their cask. Anyway, it's Lolfest 5 today. Um, dampness looks well set in. I'm going to start using my Costa points on my bacon rolls. Because Christmas. Hashtag beautiful. Well, definitely still raining. Festive bacon rolls. There you are, your festive uphill. Hashtag jingle 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 jingle. Of course, it is the season for beers with silly festive names. So, he says, as he forgets the name of the beer, <laughs> I'm having a Santa Ale. This is Santa's Slayer. Apparently, it's a refreshing malty bitter ale. Uh, Banks and Taylor, 4% alcohol by volume. Bits of holly all over the place. Yeah, the rain's eased off a bit now, but it's still raining. Um, yeah, it's malty, a little bitter, a bit tingly. Gentle bitter finish. It's B plus, it's nothing special, but it'll do for me. I'm sort of feeling like another bacon roll, although I'm not sure. It's Christmas. And, um, yeah, the rain hasn't stopped. Anyway, this is a Christmas tall tail from Wickwall. 4.4-4.5% alcohol by volume. Yeah, it's a minute now. Yeah, it's raining. People are putting the hoods up. Mm. Mm. Rick. Malty. Full-bodied. Yeah. Christmassy. Yeah, I think the spice is possibly in there as well. I don't know. My palate is jaded. Bitter, malty, long lasting, beat plus and a bit finish. There you go. I've used an American VPN to get to Canada to update my Chinese Android mobile phone. I'm now drinking a beer from New York City in a rather wet and windy to Philly, South Wales. Hashtag Lower Rumley Valley. It's a great day. Lolfest 5 next. And we're off with the official beer of Lolfest. Generic Lolfest, not just Lolfest 5. This is Lol. 4.4% alcohol by volume. That's the brewer. Ooh. Hot craft. You. <sighs> Traditional bit there. B plus and a bit. Very nice. And I'm in the corner. Mm, you can't be corners. Wonder if Gaza will show today. Not only took lol but guest ales. This is from Yeovil Ales. This is Posh IPA. Fourth out, Starboard Home. 5.4% alcohol by volume. A gourmet IPA? Well, I like that. I've got to be honest. Mm, sort of malty base aroma. 
Oh, hugely fruity. That, who's that young chap over there? And that young lady. Mm. It tastes like something I can't tell what it is like, but B plus in a bit. I like that. Have you got Paul on camera, yeah? <laughs> they don't want me on camera. No. <laughs> anyway, not we're not yet. bottles. Did they put this on? Wrapped on keg? That doesn't make sense. Cask and keg. And it's 4.6% alcohol by volume. And it's got mosaic in it. Do you mosaic? Yes. From yesterday. Very fruity. <laughs> B plus in the bed. Powered by Google Maps. And Mr. Manning. <laughs> what sort of flooring do you think this is? Concrete. Concrete. It's concrete flooring, Mr. Manning. Uh, this is Venture by Mill. They get 3.7% alcohol by volume. Cream in the background. I'd say that's a traditional bitter B plus. Find the cooking.